the Wonder Boy Carl James Martin going up against Pet Shorge Kokia Jim of Thailand. Okay, you did that very well, and it's something uh, that we can look forward to. And let's send it to the top of the ring to Noel Zarate, who will do some introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters for our next featured bout. Out of the blue corner, Petrohe Kokiat Jim. We've got the uh, fighter from uh, Thailand, Petrohe Kai Kokiat Jim, age 26, record of 17, 2 and 0 with 8 KOs. Southpaw fighting yeah. out of the Philippines in his last matchup. And he's hoping to score a bounce back win here, going up against a tough opponent in the undefeated youngster from Ipaga. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Carl James Martin. And this is the uh, celebrated new find that we have. Wonder Boy, 19 years old. Residence is Lagawe, Ifugao, Philippines, and quite an entrance, if I may say so. Always representing his heritage, his roots, going into the ring, wearing the Ifugao clothing, flanked by his family, his trainers, and that, wa that is why he is beloved sa kanyang local na Lagawe, Ifugao. It's because they are so proud of him for representing. Of the 11 wins, 10 of them, via the KO road and this guy seems to be a celebrated uh, hero in there in his hometown so wow can you imagine if he gets to Las Vegas isa barangay ang sasama niya <laughs> he knows how to make an entrance sabi ng taga Thailand ano itong pinasok natin ano <laughs> wow this is a whole barangay and uh, there's a ritual to be done with it as well. He is the WBO Youth Bantamweight Champion. But it is his first time fighting under the bright lights of a big fight card here in Manila. James Martin, the southpaw, going up against Orthodox Petchorhe Kokia Jim. You can see their records, an outstanding knockout ratio for James Martin. Only one fighter has survived to hear the final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, ESPN5, in partnership with Jerry Penn's Boxing Promotion and sponsored by Smart Communications, brings you Peñalosa versus Cardenas live right here at the SM Skydome. Our next featured bout is 10 rounds in the Bantam Weight Division. Our judges are Hill Cole, Carlos Costa, and Carlo Baluyot. And when the bell rings, the third man in charge of the action. Oliver Garcia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the fighter coming out of the blue corner, wearing yellow with red. Official weight, 116 pounds. Professional record, 17 wins, two losses, and eight wins coming by way of knockout. From Bangkok, Thailand, Petorhe Kokiet Jim. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, official weight, 118 pounds. His professional record, perfect in 11 bouts with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. From Lagawe, Efugao, Philippines, Carl Thomas Martin. You know, when Manny Pacquiao started, he only had a small group. But this guy, when he goes to Las Vegas, he'll have a whole barangay with him. 
Baka isang eroplano, pali pa rin ito mula sa Ipugao. Yeah, if you're telling me that he's that good. Referee Oliver Garcia. And let's get the final instructions from Referee Garcia. Preparers, you are scheduled at 10 rounds. Always protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck. That's it, lad. Back to run. At ang laban na ito, mga kaibigan, talo sa corner, yun. 15, 15 is to 1. 10 rounds po tayo. First round brought to you by Smart. Carl Hamis Martin against Coquette Jim. Shortan nila lang natin, Coquette Jim na lang. No, Martin said his biggest adjustment, aside from, you know, the glitz and glamour of a big fight card, was actually the heat dito sa Maynila. Oh, Yung daw pinakamahirap na adjustment niya. As it took him a while, nagkasakit pa nga ito ng konti. But he was here for a couple of weeks to get acclimated dito sa init. And now, he's it, fighting to impress. You know, I've done fights in um, the Baguio area, in La Trinidad Valley. Boy, it's a delightful cold. Uh, and enjoy unboxing doon kasi lalo na yung mga tagaron because it suits them, the weather. In the meantime, Martin with a very aggressive left hand early on, and he's taking it strong against Coquette Jim. Maganda yung pinatama nito si Martin. Wild swing and a lot of misses by Coquette Jim. Volume punches Good combination by Martin. Early. Hindi nagkakalayo sa edad, although lamang ng uh, pitong taon itong si uh, Coquette Jim. Oh, Pino Bodega na. Alam niya kasi, the last loss nitong si Coquette Jim, he was hit on the right side of his body by a nice punch mula kay Jemel Magramo. So sinusubukan ni Wonder Boy. Atakihin. The exact same spot that caused the last knockout. Oh! Big, big volume punch and itong si... Thomas Martin, huh? You see the time ticking away. We're done with half of the first round. That's an act of, He got him on the side there. The glove touched the mat. Again, the rule in boxing is if anything except the soles of your feet, yung tumama sa mat, that is considered a knockdown. Kahit isang club lang yung pumagsak, bibila ka na yan. And Gokhet Jim tried to brush up whatever slick spot was on his boxing shoes. But here comes Hamis Martin wanting to end this early. It's scheduled for 10, but it could go shorter. Of course, for Hamis Martin, this is a big step para sa kanya. His first live TV bout, hoping that he could really impress a lot of people and gain more fans. Hindi lang sa Ifogao, he want to be, you know, popular all over the Philippines. And Kokia Jim, however, not obliging into the party that early on throwing on some leather. Although Hamas Martin beginning to pulverize the sides of Kokia Jim. Time remaining, half a minute. And again, he goes to the uh, side and goes to the middle now. Good combination, but Hamas Martin gets stabbed by Kokia Jim. He's pinned momentarily, but he gets stabbed by a right. Hamis Martin trying to put some mileage before the round is over. The power punch of the round brought to you by Smart. Volume punch here itong uh, Hamis Martin, you know? Na timing an. He missed wildly talking about Coquette Jim. Tas tinamaan ng body shot to the side. Flash knockdown scored by the Wonder Boy, but knockdown nonetheless as binilangan ng ating referee. Coquette was wild with his swing. Kaya naman napadali yung kanyang pagbagsak. Salita ka pareho, sabi nung floor director natin. Wala pa yung ring eh. Wala pa yung round. Ito na, round two tayo. At itong round na ito, ay hatid sa inyo, 
ng smart. Ayan ang iyong uh, unofficial sport, uh, scorecard. Eh? Marami kasi talaga yung masyadong binitawang suntok. Itong si James Martin. That was a little low. Martin now loading up with his right. But Koke Jim trying to punish him with body punches. Pero gumantin ang isa. And he's working on the face area quickly. Sharp shooter ito ha, Carlo. Sharp, Sharp shooter. shooter. Tapos marami rin talaga eh. And that is why he is called Wonder Boy. Oh. Pero tinamakan siya doon. Oh. Mag-iingat siya. Huwag siyang uh, magkukumpiyansa. Matapang din itong taga-Thailand. Yung scorecard ho na pinapakita namin, yun ho ang call ni Carlo ho. Unofficial ho yan. But uh, at the same time, the judges, of course, with the 10-point mass system of scoring, huwag ho kayong magalala. More or less, yung nilalagay ni Carlo, hindi ho lalayo dyan sa mga uh, judges. Kung mangyari man, 1 point, 2 point siguro. Ano, ha? Pagka ikaw, masyadong malaki distansya mo, ayoko na, ayoko na sa'yo. <laughs> Well, so far, Martin is very impressive with his debut yes. here in Manila. Uh -huh. Clean, punching. First, first fight niya sa Manila. Yes. Malinis, ha? Malinis susuntok. Tsaka volume. Kinapwento ni promoter Jerry Peñalosa. Nung una daw, humingi ng ticket sa kanya. Isandaan agad. Bumalik after two days. Sabi niya, Ula. chap, pwede ba mga 200? Wow. So, pagkatas to lamang ito, wala na lahat ito mga ito? Hindi, baka mag-stay naman. Ah, no. Ala ko na mauwi na eh. Ito na. Well, they got time. Time remaining. A minute. And just about. Kaliwa kanan, may uppercut. Ayun, no? Miss Martin. Marunong humiwa ng depensa, no? Nagpa-part siya ng depensa nitong si Kokiet Jim. Eh. Pero mahirap din kalaban yung Kokiet Jim. Ah, Buha pa ito siya ng mga overhand. Overhand rights. Mm -hmm. Ayun, yes, no? yun, 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 yun. Left naman yun. So, siyempre, bisita yung... Uh, Tay, eh. hindi titiklo basta-basta. Ang lalaban yan. Tayo nga, hirap pag bumabiyahe tayo dun. Yeah. That's definitely the case. Many fighters from the Philippines ay nahihirapang kumuha ng panalo sa Thailand because of also their impressive boxing program in that country. At saka, hindi ba kailangan manakout mo yung taga-Thailand eh. Kasi pagka yung ano lang, tagilid ka sa decision, tagilid ka pagka judges ang nag-decide. Mayroon talaga when you travel all over the country. At gano'n naman lagi yun. Yeah. Mentisyon. Pero ang ganda ng kombinasyon as we go into the final seconds. There's a vicious attack. And the crowd beginning to yell, looking for something here. They got Pocket Jim in the corner and saved by the bell. Great action from the second round. Power punch brought to you by Smart. Matapang din yung Kokia Jim, ano? Marunong din magbigay. Eh. Overhand right. At left yung kadalatang pinapato niya. But this was the flurry coming from Hamas Martin late in the round to possibly win him. That round number two, Blackwater Elite Boss, Yusel Dossi. Nakita natin, no? Nasa trunk. Itong si Hamas Martin. It's good to know ah, that at this very young ah, age of his career, may may mga sumusuporta na sa kanya. Round, hatid sa inyo ng smart. Buong araw ko na nakita ito si Mr. Yusel Dossi, ha? So I'm for breakfast. Um, Unintentionally, ha? I was meeting somebody else. And uh, there is the round going again to Martin. Again, unofficial Unofficial, oh, yan, ha? Ooh. Pero alam mo, Carlo, to, to be honest, medyo wild din. Ha? Siyempre, bata pa yan, yeah. di ba? Pero ang ganda. Ang ganda, tumapon ng kombinasyon. Tataka kami. Gusto magpakita talaga eh. Tsaka malalim yung suntok. Eh. Tsaka knuckle, ha? Mm -hmm. Knuckle. Ayun, oh. Woo! Woo! All we can say is, woo! <laughs> And the attack coming from a variety of directions. Pag ito, nakalaban ng Meksikano, magugulat ang Meksikano rito. Or anybody from the Latin American countries. He's now going from the inside to the sides of Pocket Jim. And Pocket Jim countering, trying to keep Hamas Martin at bay. Yun na lang yung napapalating na suntok nitong si Pocket Jim. As he's slowing down considerably here, iniinda niya yung body punches more than the head blows. 
bumababa na yung depensa niya. Ah, uh, investment boxing ang ginawa nitong si Hamas eh. Carl Hamas Martin, 19 years old, undefeated in 11 fights. You can already see the wear and tear dun sa buka nitong si Koke G. He's puffy, he's still fighting back, bumababato pa rin. Pero may chamba ito ha, yung ganyan kalaban. May alaho yan, Carlo ha. Oo eh. Pag, pag hindi nag-iingat si Martin at naalahoy siya rito. That's why he has to keep his defense. Oh, oh but a wicked uppercut. Another one. Marunong. Marunong ito. It's been a while since I've seen somebody this classy. Eh? Four, five punch combinations coming from Martin without a reply. Sino trainer nito? Yeah. Mula sa Ifogaw din. Uh -huh. Ang lupit niya sa tagiliran. Ano? Mm -hmm. Maalam sa boxing. May plano. At sumusunod sa plano, more importantly. Ayan na. Yan na lang. Paisa-isa na lang yung response nitong si Koki at Jim. Ito na yung FPJ on ESPN. Ano ha? <laughs> Punch out. Back uh -oh. air. Uh -oh. He's in track. Koki at Jim barely standing. The count is seven. He's asked to move forward. He seems okay. And we will fight on. But is this nearing the end? Well, I know. But he throws a left hand. Well, okay, Jim is embattled here. Final seconds. Walking well, okay, Jim trying to hang on so that he can get the break in between the rounds. Gamely hanging on, falling for the second time, and he's saved by the bell and you. And listen to this crowd roll! by Smart and it looks like this is done because hindi na makatayo sa bangko and there's that knockout punch or knockdown punch from that round mukhang ayun na sumasayo na yung mga taga Ipugao Outstanding work put in by James Martin yun sa kanya walang isang solid na tumama in that specific attack pero sa dami talaga eh from the body to the head, outstanding performance from this young kid. I think we're seeing the birth of a new superstar, huh? I don't say that very often. I don't see it very often. We hope uh, his career is taken care of and uh, he will go places. Wonder Boy, you know what a name, huh? But hindi ganun kadalas that when you put fighters, young fighters, into the spotlight and they perform above what you expected yeah. from them, hindi nangyayari ng madalas yan. Uh, Maraming natatakot, nahihiya, power from the limelight. Uh, but Martin looks he's ready for the spotlight. He's ready to take up the cudgels for Philippine boxing in the years to come. In the meantime, there will be a presentation, a brief one. Let's send it to Ladies Noel. Gentlemen. We have a winner by technical knockout in the rest period of the third round. And still undefeated, Carl Samus Martin! To present the award, Mr. Giselda C., the President and CEO of Ever Belena. Could be the start of a good collection, huh? of uh, uh, hardware and a lot of things are in store for this young man we'll get back to the uh, boxing in just a short while big win by carl james martin remaining undefeated